everybody. Today we're going to solve this logarithmic equation. We have log base 3x plus log base 3x plus 6 equal to 3. Now to solve this logarithmic equation, what we need to do first is we need to combine these two uh, logs. Now if you recall one of the laws of logarithm, when you have log b x times y that is equivalent to log b x plus log b y. Now, um, we can, what we have here is we have this case. We need to go from two logarithm to one logarithm. So what we get here is log base three x times x plus six equal to three. Now we have a logarithmic equation with only one log on one side. That's what we want. We can, if you want to simplify this first, so we get x times x, that gives us x squared, plus x times 6, that's 6x, six and that is equal to 3. Okay, now we need to rewrite this logarithmic equation in exponential form. Now again, let me remind you, we have log b x equal to y, that is equivalent to the base b raised to y, which is what the log is equal to, equal to x. So here the base is um, uh, 3 and y is also 3. So um, we write it in exponential form. We get 3 raised to the third power equals to x squared plus 6x. Here we have a quadratic equation. Uh, we need to solve by taking everything on one side. Uh, 3 cubed, that is 27 equal to x squared plus 6x. Uh, subtracting 27 on both sides of the equation to make the side equal to 0. We get x squared plus 6x minus 27 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and try to factor this. We have x squared, that means we have to have x here and x here. We have the product of two numbers must be negative 27 and their sum must be positive 6. So then that must be plus 9 minus 3 because 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. 9 minus 3, that gives me 6, which is the coefficient of the middle term. Now, uh, setting each factor containing a variable equal to 0, we get to solve for the variable x. So x would be equal to negative 9, and here we add 3 on both sides, and x would equal to 3. Now here, we have a problem. When x is negative, you know, x cannot be negative here, because we cannot take the log of a negative number. You can go ahead and check it in any calculator. Take, for instance, the log of uh, negative 9, and you're going get, to get an error message. So this is not a possibility, s equal negative 9 is not a possible solution, even in here as well. When you have negative 9 plus 6, it's going to be negative 3. So it's not going to work, work out in either way. So this, you're going to have to uh, remove this solution. This is, however, is a solution. You can go ahead, plug in, whenever you find x, you plug in 3, you'll find out that this is a solution to our logarithmic equation. I hope you find this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.